Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about the Earl Grey. Um, I realized that I have one that I've never used, one that I've been using inside, and one that I've been taking out a lot. And so I thought that would be the perfect way for, if you're looking into buying one, um, for you to see how the leather is. I'm gonna kind of show you uh, how it feels in all of them and do some close-ups and how it can age. This one is beat up. See, I leave it in my purse. It has gold leaf on it, of course. Um, so you can see all the keys have done to it. I absolutely love it. This is really my favorite leather. The only reason I haven't used this one is I don't know that I am a folio person. So I'll probably put this on the market, but I wanted to show you also you can see the different you know variations this was on I bought it on the sale so not second chance but during the sale and you can see how thin it is if you are going to get a folio although I think they've changed now um, and how thick it is here and see the color now between these two there's not a huge huge difference but this one I've been using quite a bit I just keep it at home so this one is the A6, actually this one was an A6 folio as well, I'm sorry. And this is the A6 Deluxe. And um, so it, the old, obviously, with the pockets here. You can see the thinness is pretty much similar as the folio. It's really thin here, if you compare it to, you know, a folio, it's half. And then I almost feel like this is a little more because then it has two three layers of leather but what i like is as you can see it kind of hugs it started hugging my um cafe notes which is what i have in here with one of my postcards in the front of my photography and one of the dolce vitas postcard in the back but you can see how you have the mark of the elastic which i love and how it is dark at certain spots. I think I rolled it a little bit, to be honest, but I can't remember. But if I did, I did something like this. Like I didn't actually, um, I, th I probably just took the stuff out of the pocket, but not my journal and just kind of rolled it. Excuse me, somebody is coughing outside. Everybody puts their mask. Everybody's so intense with the new virus, it's so scary. And this is my beloved weekly calendar. Again, same thinness, I'm pretty sure, as um, the folio. Yeah, and it's pretty thin. I mean, you can see how I can move it. Um, and then you can see how the inside is, you know, this is still darker. Again, I've had this, this one is the first one I bought and then the outside is so yummy i feel like this leather develops a patina really really fast so you'll get the shine pretty much right away i mean this one has it too when it comes in i feel like it's a little more matte i don't know if you can see but this doesn't it doesn't shine the same i should say here you go now you can see look at this like i love this and then of course it gets darker because you know you can see where the elastic you touch it you bring it everywhere i bring this one everywhere and i've been switching them around as you know for my weeks now it's only going to be this one and the eastwood because my beauty uh, black beauty is um, with my other hobonichi weeks but yeah i just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea i think this is probably one of my favorite chick sparrow leathers um yeah i just really really love it it just feel it feels like you know one of those covers that has lived and it goes faster if that makes any sense like you don't have to wait years for it to look like this i mean when did she come out with it i think i bought this pretty much a month after the tea house collection came out yeah it's just gorgeous and I love beating it up and I love I love having um, this leather this one I think I probably sell because well I don't think I'm a folio person you guys I really like having it in the in elastic because I really like having the plastic cover as well and 
I don't know. I just uh, I don't know why, but I'm realizing that's that's my gem, except for the special brown um, B6 slim from Sojourner. It's the only folio I think I'll keep. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that helps if you want to purchase uh, one of the Earl Grey at the, in the Tea House collection from Chick Sparrow. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.